One of the things that indicates where we are in the life cycle of the system is the level of monopolies that we see. And there's certainly been an awful lot of talk this year because Wall Street's always got to have something that's hot on the AI, artificial intelligence threats. And so, yeah, there are stocks that are soaring and I can see the good of it, but frankly, I can also see the bad of it. And part of the bad of it is the level of monopolies and who is actually going to be ruling you, your choices, your life. Is it gonna be elected officials? I don't know. Let's see. Coming up. I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical out of the system gold and silver company specializing in custom strategies, which frankly we all need. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you need to click that subscribe button and get on our list and you got to pay attention because my personal goal and ITM's goal is to enable you to have educated choices that puts your best interest first. What a concept. So let's look and break down. We've been talking a little bit about AI. You've been hearing a ton about it. Let's see what's happening and the real threat that maybe you don't see coming. So here we go. AI in the public interest confronting the monopoly threat. Now, you know, they're going to spin it as, well, maybe this isn't so bad, but if you just have a handful of entities controlling everything, which frankly is where we are in this system with food, with energy, with everything. Now, is it going to be a race for our minds? Because the combination of monopoly power and AI has already unleashed a vicious cycle in which concentration begets more concentration, meaning the bigger companies get even bigger. The shift was from a currency that was at least quasi gold backed, which required governments to have fiscal responsibility to handing over control of inflation and the monetary system to the federal reserve, which is not federal and does not hold reserves. It is a corporation. So we have been witnessing the rise of the corporation. Okay. So, and the concentration, which we know in the stock market is true. It begets even more concentration. They are also shaping the policy debate on whether and how to regulate AI in ways that protect and promote their existing interests, meaning the corporate existing interest. And this is largely thanks to their vast lobbying and influence systems, which we've looked at before and we're going to look at again. But the combination of monopoly power and AI has already unleashed that vicious cycle. So let's look at that cycle. Superior access to data, computing power, and expertise. Who has that? But those with very deep pockets that can buy it, right? And then that goes around to foundation models, outperforming rivals, okay? Making the bigger, bigger, and growing user base, greater profitability, because people will tend to go toward where they're going to get superior quality. And so you have this vicious cycle. And that is understandable, but it certainly does um, remove a lot of other options. Deep pockets, lots of opportunities. You don't need to know the specifics here, though. Remember, you can always go on our blog and pull this up and take the links. The links are below. You can also ask for a hard copy from your ITM representative. So what you're looking at here are Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta, and Microsoft and their partnerships, their investments, and wow, look at that list of acquisitions. So what they're doing is they're buying up even any potential or in some ways partnering, investing in, which then also gives them control or buying all of their competition. And these and the handfuls work together to maintain their monopolies, just like they do in the drug industry, just like they do in the media industry, et cetera. 
we are, you know, it's a club and we are not in it, but they're taking advantage of us, aren't they? And so again, you know, just amongst the few, they're making sure that they all stay on top. This move aims to keep users within the apps while making purchases on Amazon, eliminating the need to navigate away from their feeds. So you just stay in there and they fill you with garbage in your mind and they move you in the direction that they want you. That is officially called nudging. Here's another one. Apple gets 36% of Google search revenue from Safari Alphabet Witness says. You know, we're a club and we are not in this. So competition is bad for these guys. So they have to gobble them up and Google's play. So all of this is coming out in court. Now, are you paying attention to this? Do you even care about it? But you know, Google plays bribe and block ploy hurt rivals. Oh, Alphabet used a bribe and block strategy to thwart competition against its Google, Google play app marketplace hurting developers and raising prices for consumers. If there are monopolies, who controls the prices? And we know that we're going, we're shifting into a regime where you just have a few that owns everything and the rest of us that rent everything else. Who's going to control those prices? Who's going to most be impacted by it? Right? We have to fight this. How do you fight it? You get some money outside of the system and you have food, water, energy, security, barter, ability, wealth, preservation, and community so that you are independent. That's how we vote. And the more of us go in this direction, the better off we're all going to be. For Google Play, dominating Android world was existential. Well, of course, they paid Samsung uh, to secure Google Play exclusivity, the company put together a tiered plan that would offer a 16% share of Google's Play revenue to mobile device makers or between 4 and 8% of the App Store's sales to smaller manufacturer. It would also extend up to a 12% revenue share from its search business sales. So really dominating everything being automatically uploaded when you buy a new phone, when you buy a new laptop, when you buy a new anything that what's in front of you, what do people choose to do? They choose to go the easiest way, but they're also shaping the policy debate. And how are they doing this? Well, how Google and Amazon bankrolled a grassroots activist group of small business owners to lobby against big tech oversight. So they don't want to come off as controlling. They want it to be your idea. The Connected Com Commerce Council, which is also known as 3C, which pitches itself as a grassroots movement representing small business owners, is actually a well-financed advocacy group funded by tech heavy hitters, Google and Amazon right? So you get behind these guys, what you're really getting behind is Google and Amazon's agenda. The two tech companies are currently the council's sole financial support. Hmm. What do you think about that? Who do you think the three C entity is paying attention to? But the lobbying watchdog group, the campaign for accountability called three C an AstroTurf lobbying organization, thanks to the tech giants financial support. Well, let's take a look at more on these tech giants that with all of this free money and zero interest rate policy have grown oh so much bigger. So we'll take it at Apple and these are countries. So all the countries in the white with GDP less than Apple's market cap. Gosh, there are not too many. You can even barely see them that are in the black, right? And these are just some of the countries closest to Apple's market cap, Italy, Brazil, Canada, Russia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But Apple is greater than them. Here's Microsoft. So all the countries in green, Microsoft's market cap is higher than, than all of these countries. And the ones with their GDP is closest to Microsoft app, um, market cap. Brazil, Canada, Russia, et cetera, all those same guys. Can you see how much wealth is concentrated in just this handful of companies? 
So all of those that are in this sort of mustardy color have GDP less than Amazon's market cap and all these countries clo are closest to them. So, I mean, you starting to get the picture. Here's Facebook also known as Meta, right? Look at now Meta is a little bit down some, but still in all, look at all of the countries that have GDP closest to Meta's market cap. You can see this. So how much influence do they have? And who wins the battle between nation states and big tech? Well, who has deeper pockets? Because it's always going to be the population that pays. Most of the public debate about AI has quite rightly been about the technology's impact and what it will mean for online misinformation or the future of work. What has been less discussed is what it means for the concentration of wealth and power in the tech industry, but also between countries. Yeah, between countries and who's really going to control these countries. The power of the tech titans rivals the power of the nation state. Here's the top six lobby spenders in Brussels over in Europe, Meta, Apple, Bear, Google, Shell, and Microsoft. This is the lobbying power of Amazon, Google, and companies continue to grow. Big tech spends 113 million euros per year on lobbying in Brussels. So who do you think has a say in the way these laws evolve? Gee, who do you think that is? Digital industry companies are not just lobbying individually. They are also collectively organized into business and trade associations, which are themselves important lobbying act actors. So it's layers and layers of money funneling into these politicians' pockets. Overall, the comparison with 2021 shows that big tech companies are using more and more resources to try to influence EU policy in their favor. What a shocker! because when it comes to lobbying, big tech are the big spenders now. This is 2005, right? About 10 million. Now they're up to 70 million in the US. And, and in 2022, Apple increased its lobbying spending by 44% compared to 2021. I don't know you guys, what do you think? What do you think about this? Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta, and Microsoft spent nearly 69 million. And we're going to see what's happened in the first half of 2023. Oh my God, even more. These companies faced potential legislative challenges, including antitrust bills that could disrupt their business models of getting bigger and bigger and bigger and controlling the wall, the world. Despite these threats, the bills did not reach a vote, partly attributed to the tech industry's aggressive lobbying efforts. You think, for goodness sakes, do you think that's possible? Who, you're voting for these people, but who is controlling these people? And of course, I'm not saying that, you know, anybody that first gets into politics they probably have very, I, or many of them anyway, would have some idealistic notions, but the money changes everything. And we've seen this over and over and over again in letting the central banks trade for their own accounts and, and Congress. And, you know, I mean, we've talked about it so much, seriously. Google, Oracle, Amazon, and Microsoft awarded a Pentagon cloud deal for up to $9 billion combined. Huh? So, you know, the big just keep getting bigger and we support them, don't we? But we vote with our wallets. This is what we vote with. What are you going to choose to do? because everything else that's in the system, I don't care what it is, is controlled by these big guys. And that's getting worse and worse and worse. I'd like to say that our votes matter. I'm not sure that they do other than this one, physical gold, physical silver, 
the only assets that run no counterparty risk and they have to be in your possession. Because if you don't own it, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. So if you have not yet clicked that Calendly link, click below, set up a time to get your gold and silver strategy in place and get it executed ASAP. Make sure that you watch last week's video on the breakdown of the consumer and there is a crisis looming and I can't tell you it's going to be Tuesday morning at 835, but it certainly could be. And don't forget to watch Daniela DeComboni's interviews with me and also um, Taylor Kenny. She does a wonderful breakdown on the 101 level. And again, if you haven't started that, click that Calendly link below. Make sure you subscribe, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and share, share, share. Because as big as these guys are, together, we're much, much bigger. And until next we meet, this is your financial shield. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.